What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are fishing the beautiful Lake Austin down here in Austin, Texas. It's going to be a fantastic day. Even better because we got some ice cold drinks on deck. Thank you to Acaso for sponsoring today's episode. We have got a sick backpack cooler to showcase for you guys today. It is going to be some fun, but we definitely want to get to fishing and see what all this lake has to offer. There's big fish caught out of this place on a daily basis, but not just that. They got coffee right up here. You can pull up to the place on your boat. We stopped at Mozart's this morning with Jared, Mark, Jay. We're going to have a good old time out here today, but we had to get some caffeine to get the juices flowing, man. It's time to make the first cast let's go ahead and get right into it all right y'all Devin and Jared have made their first cast already check me out I'm throwing something different for you guys today I picked up some swing loader jigs or what do you call these rear uh, anyways I got I got some swinging jig heads right here you see this it allows your bait to move independently from that jig head this is a three-quarter ounce because we're gonna be fishing some 20 foot plus uh, depths in certain areas and essentially what this guy does right here let me rig this thing up and i'll talk to you a little bit more about it i'm gonna grab a bandito bug the water is not crystal clear down here on lake austin today so i'm breaking out the sprayed lettuce it's got some nice purple some flash stand out a little bit more in this uh murkier lake austin oh you know what i'm already not liking these budget um, bass pro hooks because you really don't want your bait to uh, conflict with this joint right here, but the, the shelf on this hook is so small that it kind of does. That's okay, that's okay. Roll with the punches. You might think, well, this looks just like throwing a Texas rig almost, but it's designed a little bit different. What you're gonna do with this is almost crank it nice and slow along the bottom. That bait's gonna move independently and almost be fluttering and swimming along essentially just the flat bottom, the rock, different things of that nature. So it's just an alternative to almost like a deep diving crank, I would say. It's like a, a reaction bite with the bottom bait. It's gonna be very interesting. I'm just gonna cast it out, let it fall all the way to the bottom, and then I'm just gonna start slow creeping and almost like we do the swim baits it's gonna be banging off any little rock any little twigs and trees cruising right along I can cover more water quickly and then I've got the uh, go-to rod to secure the deal little SLX XT and some Gomexis handles I know you guys are always curious about the setup I think this is 50 pound braid and then I I did a little leader this morning I think I got like a 17 pound Guggen Squad fluorocarbon right here so that's the whole setup front to back top to bottom three quarter ounce and I think a four or five aught EWG hook on here once again just some cheap Bass Pro uh, brands stuff on the way down let's get this thing in the water though and see if it can secure a catch because i'm definitely excited to uh, try this technique for i think really the first time this summer so let's get into it do you ever hit this wall or is it not worth it or is it like shallow it's really shallow but no i mean there's there's definitely fish that run up and down it oh there's something right on the drop oh hello oh my god you're right. hello oh my god eat it oh what the heck that thing is huge is that a fish it's why is it why is it not doing anything it's a, it's not a bass, maybe. Are you throwing the wobble? This is the crank. Oh, just got my first one of the day, too. Yes. What do we got here? Is it a bass? <laughs> it is a bass right off the docks. Cool. There we go. I'm just going to flip him up here. Nice one on the Carl's crank. All right, there. There we go. Oh, that almost got me. Hey, 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 you're going to treble hook yourself, kid. All right, y'all. First behemoth for me on the Austin, Texas trip. And with that, I think... It is time to grab a drink. Cheers, y'all. We got the Celsius Man. Ice cold in the Fuji pear flavor. I'm ready. Let's go. I deserve this one, you know? After catching big fish all day on the lake, this is just it's the reward you need to keep on going. We've been at it for like 20 minutes. Devin's just like, you're drinking an energy drink, and you have your hot latte from Mozart still. And I'm like, but babe, the cooler. It's just, it's right here. <laughs> All kinds of stuff in here. We put a 10 gallon bag of ice in this thing, right? Yeah. I'm really liking this cooler. Oh, look at this. Oh my. That's a good one. Oh my goodness, you see the size of that guy? That was a good one. Dude, there's a couple under there, I think. Oh, let's get it, Skippy. This feels so good. It feels like the Citizen when you're just over a rock or like a jig, just, I mean, it's. Just knocking bottom. Yeah, just. Yeah, it's like three quarter ounce, so it's heavy and it's just knocking. But the bandito bugs. How much vibration they put up too whenever it's knocking bottom. It's like got to be good, bottom. baby. You might want to throw that crankbait right here, actually, because rock just. Thank you. We found them. <laughs> she found them. Go a little bit deeper than you. Oh, fish! Yes. fish. Hey. Wait, is it yeah. right, dude? I wasn't yes. expecting that because you know I'm working oh, this thing on the bottom. Me. That was just instant, dude. As soon as it dropped. Yeah. And he's swimming towards us. He's swimming towards us. Come on. Nice. Oh, two fish on the morning. Okay, and that was on that swinging jig. Dude, that was instant. That was instant, dude. He would hit any one of our baits. It was just I landed in the right spot. Sick, man. Second bass of the day right off this point. 
we can dig it y'all lake austin is putting on a show today see you bud Yeah, that literally just fell off while we're running. <laughs> nice mount. How lame. This has fallen off while we've driven before too. That was, we were going 45 and I had to just cut it to zero. Nice. Oh wow, look at that drop off though. We're actually in fairly good depth. You might hit this. Oh my God. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh. Oh. Hand me anything you need. Glasses, glasses are behind you. That way, that way. Yep, no, yep, right down, front, down, right in front, right front. Left, arm, left arm, left arm. Go down, go down, go down. Do you have your phone in your pocket? Yes. I got you, I got you, come on up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> your keys are still there. <laughs> I was like, I, I was going and I was just like, oh, I I was getting wet. Good. I could have grabbed Weston, but he just came with me. All right, y'all, before we kick off the second half here, we're giving you the halftime report on the Acosto cooler. This thing is sick, up to 36 cans you can toss in this bad boy, and it keeps your drinks cold for up to 72 hours, which is more than enough for us. We might go on a hike with this. We might take this out on the wake boat sometime. We might take this out just in the future on the bass boat, John boat, kayaks, you name it. This thing's going to be on the back, keeping our drinks chilled. And I'm sure you guys have got an idea of when this might come in handy for y'all, being the fact that it is a backpack and so portable. It's also 100% waterproof and it's 100% sealed. So this thing locks down tight and that way your drink's not going all over the place just because you toss this thing on its side. Speaking of, on the side, Got a nice little pocket right here, actually on both ends. I tossed the iPhone in there real quick, so you've got a little storage. It's got a strap up front, can opener. And just to sweeten the deal, the price is coming out around $170, y'all. So I know you're probably thinking, this looks exactly like the competition. I've seen a cooler like this. Maybe the brand Yeti comes to mind, and it does. And that thing's 300 buckaroos, man. So if y'all wanna save some coin, you've got an alternative option. I know I'm kind of a name brand guy when it comes to certain things too. Sometimes it's best to just save those pennies and get what works, and this thing absolutely works. We are loving it. Thanks to Costco for hooking us up with the cooler. Let's get back to fishing, y'all. It's time for the second half. Let's see if we can rip some lips and catch a tank out here on Lake Austin. This place is known for the bigs. They're lurking, and we're hungry for them. Let's go get them. Let's work up past here so we can all get a good cast now. That was good. That was not bad. Oh, this feels so rocky. This is, wow. If it was midday sun, this would be the juice. Dang it. All right, see ya. Oh my God, Ooh, almost again. Like so close. Why did that never used to happen to me? I like never got close to losing a rod by like flying out of my hand from a braid backlash. You wanna come hit this tree first, babe? Yeah, I mean, you should, there's gonna be fish here, come on. I don't see any fish sticking out, but I know there's gotta be fish on it. Is that turtle yep. up there? He's, he's chilling. Yeah. Yep. Not that. No, I mean, it might be better with that. Yeah. Oh. oh. Broke off. Really? Yeah. Oh no. It was a good tug. It must have been uh, frayed, cause look, it's a, just a weird spot to break. It's um, this is like 15 pound, I think, and not 20. Take you down in some limbs. Well, the last few casts, I think I rubbed up against it. I was trying to like yank it out of this tree once or twice already now. So mm -hmm. we scoot us up just a little bit, babe. I'm gonna try and cast back in there with the Texas rig. It's not gonna eat again, I don't think, but maybe there's something else over there. Just lost one on the gridiron jig under here, man. A nice double tap, and then the uh, line that was frayed for me trying to unsnag it from this tree. I didn't retie like a uh, a rookie. It happens. It's the little things you realize after the fact. Um, anyways. That fish got away, so I'm gonna drop this black and blue crack and craw, just a little different presentation, see if maybe there's another fish in there that might not hit it. That bass stole the gridiron jig, that's for sure. All right, y'all, Jared is headed out. We had a blast, it is now almost 12 noon. We got out here just a little after eight in the morning. We're gonna go ahead and try and crank some more for you guys. He's gotta run. We're gonna get back with Jay and Mark and see if we can't lay the hammer down. So we'll catch you guys back on the water here in a second. Oh my, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Wow. Oh, Devin, they're going. Devin, they're, the bass are going now. Anything is going to eat. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The fish are going crazy. I accidentally cast into that tree and all these mayflies went crazy. And then little fish just started munching on them. We were thinking maybe it was bass. Even though it wasn't, I was like, okay, with all this action, there's mayflies everywhere, all over the camera, all over me probably. And with all this action, maybe some big bass will cruise in here. 
we were unable to link up, man. We threw the little baby saucy swimmer, we threw the frog, we threw crankbait, and we didn't get lucky. But uh, anyways, that was an interesting little moment there on Lake Austin. We're gonna go ahead and work down some of these docks. We're right here by the 360 bridge. I think you can maybe see a bit of it in the background. And we're just waiting for the first big end to hit. There we go. Nice. Oh, oh he came, came off? <laughs> wow. Was that on a Texas rig or that swing jig? Nice. Whoa, it just got cold. Y'all, conditions have changed. It dropped probably like, no lie, like 10 degrees. There's people on tubes that are headed back to the ramp right now. It is getting crazy out here, you guys. All right, y'all, we are back up at the house in Dallas. Unfortunately, our Austin fishing trip was cut short. The bite was on, though, and I thought today's episode was quite entertaining, but we weren't able to get on as many fish on Lake Austin as we had planned. Uh, it was a, a fantastic day. Had a blast with Jared, with Jay, the whole gang, Devin behind the camera. Uh, she missed her one fish that came off right at the boat. <laughs> you know how it goes. Anyways, we would love to thank Acosta for sponsoring today's episode. If you guys are in the market for a new cooler, check it out. Uh, we've already taken it out and fished with it again on the kayaks. It, uh, it only makes sense when it's 100 degrees out here in Texas to have some ice cold beverages. I'm sure you can relate. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for joining us on today's episode. We'll catch you on the next one. A lot of new Guggen Squad exclusives coming soon and some fresh fire content. So subscribe, hit notifications. We'll see you then. Jared, you thirsty, bro? Yes, sir. I got you. My man, ice cold.